Um, long time no see. It's been a long time since I've made a new video vlog. So I am making this one just for you. Well, actually, I'm not making it just for you. I'm making it for Cooter. Um, because we realized during the DN Hootenanny event thing that we had uh, last weekend that there seems to be a big difference between how I think about words and how I pronounce them. Uh, this weird discussion came into play when we discussed uh, the pronunciation of whore, um, which is really how most of you Americans pronounce it. You uh, call someone a filthy whore. Well, apparently, um, in my native tongue or whatever my accent, uh, I pronounce uh, whore as whore. And trying to get the uh, pronunciation information across to other people via text message or instant messenger doesn't exactly work because I realized that to pronounce a word or try to explain how I pronounce a word to someone, I need to know that the words that I'm using uh, to describe how I pronounce it need to be pronounced the same as well because apparently you guys also don't pronounce poor like poor, it's poor. Uh, to me, that's like porous, you know, not poor, as in like totally broke. Um, so I would pronounce whore, whore, which is to me poor with a who in front. So yeah. And this got me thinking about all the weird words that I pronounce uh, just slightly differently. I mean, it's not a big deal, I'm sure, in context of. So you're a dirty whore, people who can understand what I'm trying to say. But it was just really interesting. Um, and I guess that's really, right now, the one word that um, has been stuck in my mind. You know, how can I tell someone or how can I uh, explain via text um, how I pronounce the word whore? Because I'm so used to pronouncing it the way Americans pronounce it, simply but for the ease of communication. It's really hard to um, to get by day to day when people constantly look at you funny or um, just spend all day saying, what, what, what are you saying? I, I can't understand you. Um, so over the last seven years that I've been here, I've slowly slipped into the you know subconscious state of uh, mimicking how Americans pronounce words simply so it's easier for me to talk to people. Not that I have to use the word whore very often, but you never know. You know, people call me a whore all the time, I don't care, whatever. Um, yeah, so this public service announcement about the pronunciation of whore or whore is simply for cure. So there you go, dude, just for you. Um, for those of you who may uh, not have seen my new tattoo, I guess I should climb up on my seat and show you. Forgive the big fat belly if it sticks out, by the way. I am bruised the fuck up, by the way. Just so you know uh, how bad I am when I get tattooed sometimes, this is bruised pretty bad for me. There you go. There. There's my Aaron. Isn't that the most awesome tattoo ever? I think it's super. Speaking of super, this top that I'm wearing, I want to wear it every single day for the rest of my life. Because it just, for some reason, seems to give me, like, the best cleavage ever. I don't think I've ever looked at my chest and thought, wow, I actually have tits. You know, instead of shoulder blades that are put on the wrong side. You know, I'm one of these people that has to walk around with a t-shirt that says this way up so people know exactly where my tits are supposed to be. I'm sorry, can't help it. One of these days I'll be able to afford, you know, just a little bit of an improvement, you know. Dr. 90210, here I come. So... This is your video vlog. It's been a while, and as usual, when I sit here and talk in front of the camera, I talk about absolutely nothing of interest, but hopefully it's funny. I might make you laugh, I might not, whatever. Uh, comment back, what do you want me to pronounce next? You know, what other words? Are you curious about whether or not I say it the same way as you guys do, or, you know, just make a performing monkey out of me. I don't care. You know me. I'll do anything for the internet. I'm a whore like that. So, bye.